Happy Wednesday, everyone. You know what I love about Wednesdays? You and I get a talk. Well, it's more like I get a talk and you choose to listen. But that's as good, right? Of course, I can't seem to find the actual opening of this. Where are you? There we go, I'll just tear it the rest of the way. This is an interesting packing job. I haven't actually received a book like this before. Now this is an old library book copy. As you can obviously see, I did not buy it for $1, so someone got it over on me. <laughs> I love these library copy editions. I'll probably just end up tearing off this plastic, you know, cutting it off so that I don't have to have it staring at me. But Dragons of High Lord Skies, The Lost Chronicles Volume 2. I'm almost finished with Volume 1, and then I'm going to dive into Dragons of Winter Night. And I believe this is after that, not before it. I'm going to have to look at the exact placement here, because that's the order that I'm going to end up reading it in. This one actually looks bigger. Um, let me see what the page count is. I guess it's almost the same as the first Lost Chronicle, 456 pages. You know what I miss about these? What I loved about the original Chronicles trilogy is we had beautiful illustrations. And in the Lost Chronicles, for whatever reason, they didn't include any. And I, I don't need pictures in a book to enjoy the book. You know, the text is literally the picture. But those were just, you know, kind of little fun ones. I don't know what that was supposed to be <laughs> making note of. Let's get rid of that. Have you guys ever bought old um, library books before? I mean, it's an inexpensive way to grab a book, but you have to understand that they are going to be used. I'm not one of those people who really cares. I used to get library books all the time, and so I don't mind used books. I think as long as the binding is solid, and this is, and there's no writing or wear on the actual pages with text on them, which there is not in this particular case, which is fantastic, then I don't care. I don't need a pristine new copy to enjoy it. The words are the same. <laughs> you know, the story is the exact same. Uh, this covers a little bit. I don't know if you can see this. That's a little out of sorts, but it's still holding really well. So I appreciate that. And you can see here the original list. These were actually written after the War of the Lost Souls, which a lot of people did not enjoy. <laughs> and I can, I can respect that. I didn't mind them so much. Uh, I really loved the, the trilogy that was after that. Uh, that sort of put the world right, as it were. But um, yeah, I really dig these Lost Chronicles a lot, especially this last one where we get to get a little bit more intimate knowledge of Raceland. But this is where I believe we get the intimate connection, not intimate as in sexual, but intimate as in close connection, or as close as one can expect, between Lord Soth and Kitiara, which, I mean, come on, that's a great duo. Lord Soth would then go on to travel through the mists into Ravenloft, and uh, he had two books written about him there which is Night of the Black Rose and Spectre, or Scepter, or Spectre of the Last, Last Rose, or something like that. I can't remember, it's been a little while. But I'm looking forward to this. I always loved reading about Kitiara. You know, she was power hungry, set in her mind, a very powerful woman. You know, as far as female characters go, she was as strong as any of the others in the you know, on the light side, I guess I could refer to it as, um, in the Chronicles, like, you know, Lorana or Goldmoon. You know, Goldmoon was really great and powerful. Kitiara was, you know, the sort of stark opposite of that, but her ambition was greater than anyone. 
except for her brother, her half-brother, Raceland. And you have to respect that. People who are willing to go to the darkest corners of their world in search of power. It just ran through that family's bloodline. Uh, skipping Caraman, apparently. <laughs> Raceland had enough for both of them. So anyway, have you guys read this? What do you think? Uh, do you mind when you buy used books? Does it matter to you? Do you need a pristine new copy yourself? I'm interested to find out. I love the hardcover editions, which is why I'm doing these new buys. Um, it's just they're more durable, but I think they're just more beautiful and it feels better in my hand when I'm reading it. I can sort of rest it on my stomach as I'm laying down or, you know, just, it, I don't know, for whatever reason, paperbacks, I, I just don't enjoy as much. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, Slangevar.